Hi, I'm Martha Higdon by Quilting by Martha, and I love antique quilt tops. So I'll go to antique malls, I'll go to flea markets, I'll go to auctions, and I pick up quilt tops all the time that are not quilted, and I like to just quilt them. So this quilt top I've had for a while, and I put it on the frame, and when I opened the quilt yesterday, it had this little note with it. It said, Grace Grimes family out of Fedonia, New York. Um, so she was 99 years old when she passed away. She loved to sew and she loved to cheat at cards. Um, so I absolutely love the fact that it had a little note for me for um, Grace Grimes family. So I think I'm gonna call this name Gigi's Quilt. Those are her initials with Grace Grimes. So this is Gigi's Quilt. So what I'm doing here, it's a Dresden plate. There's four cross and five down. So I just recently finished a customer's quilt with the Dresden plate. So I kind of already had an idea of how I was going to quilt it so it went a little bit faster. So what I'm doing is I'm on my Handy Quilter Fusion. I have So Fine, it's a 50 weight thread in because I'm doing some ditch quilting in the ditch. I'm stabilizing the quilt. So I have my Handy Quilter Ditch Ruler and I can take my painter's tape off because I'm not using the lines, but I use painter's tape a lot to use lot to line up okay but I do have the um, grips on the back of this ruler to hold it in place so I'm gonna start off with the ditch ruler it's a handy quilter ditch ruler and it stays it goes right in the ditch so I'm gonna be staying right in that I'm in precision mode I'm in free motion and I have my stitches at 10 stitches per inch that's the way I like to quilt with rulers. I have my ruler base on and I have my sure foot on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is needle down, needle up, bring the bobbin thread to the top. And then for the bobbin, I have a pre-round, real thin um, 60 weight thread from Superiors. So, there we go. All right, do a few locking stitches into place. And then I'm gonna do in the ditch. So basically I'm going around and I'm gonna do in the ditch of each one of these Dresden plates. I'm going up and back down. Coming back to the very end where I started. And now I'm gonna switch to my other ruler. And this is called the Baby 
um, grand. It's by Handy Quilter, but I like the fact that this curved edge, I can also use this as a straight edge. I could have done my um, in the ditch with that straight edge, but I'm gonna use this curved edge of the Baby Grand to go around my uh, Dresden plates. Okay, so I'm right back to where I started. Now this is beautifully um, stitched down. So I did not get on the Dresden plate at all. Um, so it's already, it's already there. So I just kind of went on the outside. Now I'm going to do a second one. It's called Echo Quilting. So I'm actually going to go up and then I'm going to use that same arc. This time I'm going to eyeball it because there's no markings on here. And I'm going to go up about a quarter inch. Notice I stop my machine each time and then move the ruler. Now, all of these Dresden plates are not perfect and they're not the same. So I'm eyeballing just kind of going out a quarter inch out as a echo. And I'm gonna go all the way around the block creating the echo. And then I'm gonna finish back to where I started. So I love the new um, Baby Grand ruler. It's great for a round applique. It also has this attachment here that you can go around applique as well. This has a larger, um, so you could go around other um, types of applique and then you got your straight edge. So I am really loving how this quilt is coming together. I have two layers of batting. I wanted that poof, so I added two layers. Um, at this time, I only had 80-20, so I used two layers of 80-20. Normally, I would have used a wool on top, so I'll need to go to the store and get some wool. I am using my Fusion, which is my regular frame. It's in standard view because my um, older frame doesn't have the clear view because normally when I'm working with rulers, I like to be in clear view, but I'm in standard view at this time with this quilt. So I hope you follow along to see how I finish quilting um, this quilt. Right now, I'm just going through the whole quilt within the ditch quilting and getting it stabilized. And then I'm gonna go back in with some, hopefully some bold, cold, um, bold colors of the thread. Haven't got that far yet. So hopefully you'll follow along with me on this quilt journey. Um, like and subscribe to my page um, and watch more of my YouTube videos. Happy quilting!